Today we have with us Dr. Arvindra Singhal, pediatric urologist. He is well known in his field for treating the condition known as intersex or better known as intersexuality. So what is intersex? Here is what Dr. Arvindra Singhal has to say about this condition. Some of the children may be born with sexual organs which are neither completely male or completely uh, female. They may lie in between the spectrum somewhere. This may result because of the hormonal imbalance. This may result because of the chromosomal Im imbalance. And these condi this condition is called intersex. But lately this has been renamed as disorders of sex development. Earlier on these children were taken away by the communities and raised as uh, uh, intersex uh, children and never corrected. Till some years back, these children were often taken away by hijra communities and they were raised in the intersex class, never got operated and they could never have a, a socially relevant position in life and they were never the socially productive members in society. Uh, with the advances in medicine, of course, these conditions are all treatable and uh, after uh, proper hormonal treatment and surgeries, these children can be corrected and assigned to either a male sex or a female sex. A lot of thinking has changed in this respect. Uh, earlier, all of these children were operated in the newborn age, but nowadays in certain of these conditions, we advise the parents to wait till the child is 12 or 13 years of age. By that time, we can often uh, understand what the orientation of the child is, whether it's towards the male orientation or the female orientation, and then decide which type of sex of rearing the child should be assigned towards. Intersex condition is easily recognized by the pediatricians as soon as the child is born because the, uh, the reproductive organs would, uh, would look abnormal. Either it will be hypospadias or one of the testes may be missing. So this is easily recognized and a couple of investigations like chromosomal tests, ultrasounds can help us decide what type of sex organs the baby has. And after that we can counsel the parents and give them information after which a team of psychologists, a gynecologist, a pediatrician and a pediatric urologist sit together with the parents and assign the sex after that. Whether it's hypospadias or intersex, this is not because of any um, wrongdoing on the mother's or the parent's part. This is most often due to a chromosomal defect or a hormonal defect which causes this condition. Only a minuscule amount of them, less than 5% are carried on uh, with the generations, but rest 95% are new mutations. So certainly there's no need to blame anyone. And with the new technology and the new training of the doctors, these conditions are very, very well cured. So uh, that is the only take home message I like to uh, say about uh, reproductive anomalies in children. The treatment options for a child who is having intersex conditions are hormonal treatments as well as uh, surgical treatment. Surgery these days is not required in a lot of these conditions because hormones can make the organ uh, shrink or grow to the uh, size which is relevant for the sex of rearing. The various tests which are done to identify the sex of the child are hormonal tests, chromosomal tests, radiology tests such as ultrasound, MRI scan and gender orientation tests. These tests are administered by a trained person to identify whatever the organs, uh, the reproductive organs are and based on these uh, compilation of all these tests, the sex of the child can be assigned. <laughs> 